The warmth of life has entered my tomb. What up everyone, welcome back, it's Noodle, and today we're bringing you another Project D2 build. This one is the Mind Blast Assassin. This build really snuck up on a lot of people at the start of the season, so let's dig into it a little bit to see why. For gear, we're using two four skill shadow killers for their skills, mana after kill, and FCR, which is huge because this build really relies on that FCR. We're also using a Mage Fist for the FCR, Arax is huge for this one for the FCR and the skill, a couple of skill rings are imperative, Shadow Dancer boots are key, and then a 3 plus 1 Ami is a must because you're really trying to max the skills here. I don't have one so we're using Ameras and I also have an Annie, so this should set it correctly. And lastly, we're using Natalia's Chest for the plus 3 to Shadows, and I'm going to show this with a GG Circlet instead of Shaco. For the skills on this one, it's super simple. You just stick to the Shadow Tree and you max Psychic Hammer, Cloak of Shadows, Mind Blast, and Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior is crazy because it will use your white level of Mind Blast, which will aid in stunning mobs, and it's actually fucking broken in PvP. Like, you should not lose duels, and you can actually kill people from inside town. It's kind of cheeky. Your last skills can be split between Claw Block, Burst of Speed, and Fade, which is needed for shit like Neelithok so you don't get one popped from his corpse explosion. Your target damage for Psychic Hammer should be about 14 to 15k, and then your Mind Blast should be around 12 to 13k. Your stats should just be Strength and Dex until you can wear all of your gear, and then the rest just goes into Vitality. So the Mercenary for this one is a pretty boring build. It was just an Act 1 Mercenary with a Harmony for the Vigor, a G-Face, Treachery for the Survivability, Razor Tail, some Ghoul Hides, and Gores. She's really only here to stay alive and give you that speed boost. The playstyle for this build is straightforward in a sense where you mostly just spam Mind Blast and nothing else. It's a rather safe build because of its stun, so it will keep cows, chaos, and key mobs at bay while you rain stress and depression down on them, and it's pretty quick to clear too. On the topic of key mobs, this is my favorite non-telly key runner because when you have vigor and burst of speed on, you run at like Mach fucking 7. Since Psychic Hammer is magic damage, you can essentially run anything from trap speed runs to bosses like Bale since the Bale waves ain't shit, and even a little bit of solo mapping, but this is where it starts to fall off in terms of speed. Objectively, this build is very strong and very versatile. While it's not exactly meant to kill Ubers, it can handle almost literally everything else with pretty respectable speeds. In my opinion, it's a must try since this was never really a thing in LOD. This was a fun one to make since it was actually my first fully built character on PD2, so I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Let me know what builds you'd like to see in the future down below and I'll build, test, and show them. Thank you again for watching. You know what to do. And with that, we'll see you next time.